Hi, I'm Mindy Peters, the Solutions Manager at SPI, and I've got another beginner convert kit tutorial for you. In this video, I am going to show you how to embed a form that you built in ConvertKit into your website. Here I am in ConvertKit, and I've got a form that I've put together in ConvertKit. So I have chosen a form style, and I've styled it the way I want. I've got it exactly the way that I want it to look. Now I need to get this form into my website. So I'm going to show you how to do that. In the upper right here, there's the Publish button. Click on Publish. And you've got a few different options for publishing here. So the first two options, JavaScript and HTML, these are the two options you have for embedding the form into a website. The other option, so we've got share, this is just a link that will take you to that form on ConvertKit. WordPress is if you are using the WordPress plugin. I'm not going to be covering that in this video. And then Unbounce is just another platform that you can use to connect your form in. We want to focus on these first two options, JavaScript and HTML. Basically, what we are going to do is we'll start with the JavaScript, and then if that doesn't work on our website, then we will fall back to the HTML version. So here's what I mean. We're in here, we're just going to click copy to copy this line of code here. Now I'm gonna go over to my website. So the website that I'm working with here is a WordPress website. This should work on any website that allows you to embed HTML. I will here in WordPress, I'm gonna click on this add block button or I could click on the one in the upper left here. I'll click on add block and I'm just gonna look for the HTML option. And if it didn't show up in this short menu here, I could type in HTML and I would get my options here. So I'm gonna go with HTML here, custom HTML. And then all I need to do is paste that code in here. I'll hit paste and then I can preview to see what this looks like. And you can see that now my form is showing up on my website. Now you might notice that the fonts look a little bit different than they did here in ConvertKit. The reason for that is ConvertKit is first gonna look and try to use the fonts that are on my website. So they're basically replacing their default fonts here. They're getting replaced with the fonts from my website. That's why it looks a little bit different. Now let's say you did that and it didn't work. And sometimes you have to publish things before, before the embeds will work. But let's say you did that and it didn't work because for whatever reason, your website isn't letting you use JavaScript, which is what we have pasted in here. We can just go back over to ConvertKit, hit publish, and instead click on HTML. And you can see that um, this is a lot more code to copy and paste in. Let's paste that in. Let's paste that in here. And you can see it's just a lot longer. And then the thing to know if you're pasting that HTML is if you ever come back into ConvertKit and you update the way that your form looks, if you use that HTML option, you'll have to re-paste that code back into your website. You'll have, to, you'll have to refresh that code. Whereas if you use the JavaScript option, you make changes here, you hit save, they'll automatically refresh. So that's why JavaScript is preferable over that HTML version. But you can see here, so I've pasted in this HTML, and if I hit preview, it looks really similar. It's a little bit different than the other one. You can see that uh, it pulled in the fonts just a little bit differently, but overall, I got my form here in the page. Let me show you how to do this in a different builder. We'll go over to Teachable. Here I am in a Teachable sales page that I've built. And if I want to embed my ConvertKit form in Teachable, I can just click on Add New Block. And again, I'm gonna choose Custom HTML and hit Add. And you can see now it's opened up a code editor for me. I will go back into ConvertKit and hit Publish. I'm gonna copy, let's start with the JavaScript code. I'll copy that and I will paste it in here. And then if I hit preview, here's our preview. And we can see that we've got the form in the page here, but it's a little shifted off to the side. Not maybe what we want. 
I can't solve every situation for you where this is going to happen in your website. Every website is going to be a little bit different, but I can show you how to fix this in Teachable and that might work for your website as well if you encounter this problem. So let's go back to the editor and I'll show you some code we can wrap around that um, script so that we can move this into the center. So here we are back in the Teachable Editor. First, I'm going to show you something that I'm embarrassed how long it took me to figure this out. Somebody had to actually tell me, um, is that you can widen this editor box here just by dragging on this little bar that shows up right there to make it a little bit wider. Now, here is the code that we copied from ConvertKit. We are going to put a div around this. So the way that divs work is we are going to put in div to open it. And then underneath the code here, we are going to put in, see this little line, the slash I'm putting, slash div. And so the top one opens up the container and the bottom one closes up the container. We're gonna put that around it. Now for this div, I'm actually, I'm going to put in a style tag here. So here we go. So now we have this div here and we are adding in just two little bits of styling here. The first one, this max width colon 800 px semicolon. So what that is there is I am saying make the width of the page where this is at, make that a max width of 800. And then I'm putting in a margin around it. The first number here, this 20 px, that is your top and bottom margin. And then this auto, that's your left and right. And auto says, just figure it out for me. So center it for me. So make sure to copy this, make sure to, to, to write this exactly as you see it with the quotation marks, the semicolons, all of that matters. But if you wrap that around, then when you preview, it's gonna show up much more centered here. And you can see this little band of space right here, that's that 20 PX that we're putting below it. We also have that above it. You can make that number larger. You can make it like 50 and then you'll get a bigger space there. Or you can make that number zero and then you would get no space there. But that'll let you center it for you. So again, this embedding should work on any website that allows you to embed HTML. You can use the HTML, you can use the JavaScript. Give it a try in your website and that will help you take your ConvertKit form and put it on your website. If you want more help with learning ConvertKit and learning how to use email marketing for your business, we've got a great course for you. It's called Email Marketing Magic. Pat Flynn will lead you through the process of creating an email marketing program for your business, and you will learn ConvertKit along the way. To get that, go to smartpassiveincome.com slash getmagic.